Hi guys, it's me Helenessa94 and I'm here to show you my new tablet. I was surprised after ordering the tablet from Amazon since last week. It arrived pretty early in good timing. So I opened the box to check it out and see what it's like. So here are the following contents in the box. Before doing this, I had to uninstall my Wacom tablet. I read through the manual on how to set it up and the installation process went through smoothly. Now this process feels very different for me. The pen sensitivity when drawing feels very loose for me. Please don't take it by heart when I mean very loose. It just feels very lightweight for me. Unless it's because I have changed the pen pressure sensitivity for this tablet particularly. I had it set to the lightest setting because I draw pretty lightweight. Anyway, the pen tablet functioning normally how any other drawing tablet would. It still feels the same for me, nothing different. Now, this feels entirely new to me because I have a big drawing tablet and feels very different for me. I would like to say some pros and cons with this tablet. The pros with this tablet is that it has very useful hotkeys on the very left side of the tablet. Now it has the undo, erase, brush, the zoom buttons for zooming in and out, the brush size to change it, and the moving tool. Now in between I would only use like one of the hotkeys or a few of the hotkeys which is very useful but I tend to have the habit of using the shortcuts on the keyboard which I still do but I still use either one. It's fine with me, but I probably won't use it as much, like I said. Now as for drawing, still feels normal. I have to change the stabilizer in between to get the like of my liner and how I wanted it especially when I get on to the coloring process, but that will be in the next video. The cons, I would like to say the hotkeys are very useful. Now, I don't know with any other artists or people who use a big drawing tablet, it makes my hand cramp. I don't know if if I'm placing it the wrong way or however I place it, it just makes it cramp a little bit, but just not too bad or anything. Don't get me wrong, but that's probably just me. I probably have to do it a certain way where it doesn't have to feel uncomfortable, but yeah. Second, now... I don't know if anyone does this though, but I tend to put my computer on sleep mode or hibernation mode and when I want to use it again, 
It still functions normally, but when I want to use the shortcuts, it just does the very opposite of what I want to do. And I have to restart the computer and try to use the whole thing again. And that is kind of annoying for me. And I don't like the idea of having to restart my desktop over and over again just to use the shortcut functions and restart the whole thing again just to use it, which is kind of a bummer. And last not, but not least, the pen, the freaking pen. I thought I can still use the pen as an eraser, but that still doesn't work. And I found out through the manual that you have to turn it on and off, which is like uh, still kind of a hassle. But you can turn it off when you're not using it, so that way you can save battery power. I still feel that if you're gonna have a pen to a drawing tablet, it should just be completely wireless without a battery and change it so often and that you should able to use it as an eraser. So that's it everyone, thank you for watching. I need to stop, like, for real. <laughs>